Nessler's test is an important and highly sensitive qualitative chemical test used to detect the presence of ammonia and ammonium salts in a sample. The Nessler's test involves the treatment of the sample with Nessler's reagent. Nessler's reagent, named after the German chemist Julius Nessler, is a pale yellowish colored alkaline solution of an inorganic compound consisting of potassium cations and the tetraiodomercurate anion. It is chemically known as potassium tetraiodomercurate 2 with the formula K2HGI4. It is prepared by combining potassium iodide and mercury chloride, which is then made slightly alkaline by adding potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. Check out my video on how to prepare Nessler's reagent by clicking on the link in the description or the link given in the screen right now. This pale yellow colored reagent reacts with the ammonia or ammonium ions present in the sample under strongly alkaline conditions to produce a yellow to dirty brown colored precipitate, the intensity of the color being directly proportional to the concentration of ammonia or ammonium present in the sample. The reaction involved is as shown here. The brown precipitate obtained is a derivative of Millen's base. In this video, we'll be performing the Nessler's test on a sample either containing ammonia or suspected to contain ammonia or ammonium. To perform this test, we'll need the following. Two identical test tubes, test tube stand, test tube holder, Nessler's reagent, three droppers or pipettes, a solution of ammonium chloride or any other sample suspected to contain ammonia or ammonium and a control sample of ammonia-free distilled water. To begin the test, take the two test tubes labeled as shown in a test tube stand. In the first test tube, take 5 ml of the sample or 5 ml of ammonium chloride solution. Take 5 ml of ammonia-free distilled water in the control tube. Now add several drops of Nessler's reagent to both the tubes. Observe the tubes for any color change. The solution in the tube, if it contains ammonia or ammonium, will immediately show a yellowish-orange to dirty brown precipitate. This may dissolve at first. However, on adding several more drops of the reagent, the precipitate intensifies in quantity and color, the intensity of the color being directly proportional to the concentration of ammonia or ammonium present in the sample. The control tube, on the other hand, does not show any color change as expected. So this is how the presence of ammonia or ammonium in a sample can be easily detected qualitatively in a simple manner. Do check out my other biochemical test videos as well by clicking on the end screen card shown on the screen right now or the various links given in the description below. Thanks for watching.